The next drink we're going to prepare for you today is the Pimp's Cup. Uh, the Pimp's Cup is one of my all-time uh, summer favorites. Uh, what the mint julep is to the Derby, uh, Pimp's is to Wimbledon. Uh, it's a great drink in this light. It's refreshing. Uh, it's only 48% alcohol by volume, uh, which means that in a social situation, you can have drink for drink, and you're only consuming half the amount of alcohol. It's personally one of my favorite drinks for the barbecue. Uh, you can make a picture of it, decorate it with fruit in season. Uh, it's just a lovely drink uh, that you'll really enjoy. Uh, we're going to start uh, by decorating it with uh, fresh fruit. This is a drink that had its London and its origins in London in the 1820s. Uh, it began with a bartender named Pim. He had a oyster house uh, there, and he was the first guy to come up with the idea of the prepackaged cocktail. Uh, it was a category of drink called the fruit cup uh, that was made on a gin base. Uh, it became so popular that it was quickly followed by number two and three. Uh, number two was uh, brandy based, uh, number three was whiskey based, and uh, then followed by four, five, and six. Uh, sadly today, the only two that are still made are the number one and the number six. Uh, the number six being vodka based uh, is only available in the United Kingdom. Uh, we're going to decorate this with fresh fruit. Nice healthy portion of uh, three ounces of Pims. An ounce of fresh lemon juice. Now, uh, when I started uh, bartending uh, many years ago, uh, we didn't have the internet uh, to collaborate on. Uh, we uh, the only we went to that all-knowing source, uh, Mr. Boston didn't find a lot of guidance uh, there, and so we started looking for the uh, classic drinks, and uh, being the assumption that those were the drinks that withstood the test of, uh, withstood the test of time, and uh, then tried to start refining, uh, refining those uh, one at a time. Uh, we've discovered that uh, each one of these drinks has their own uh, special time and place in which they're uh, best enjoyed. I'm asked all the time, uh, you know, what's your favorite drink? Uh, what's your favorite drink to make? Uh, you know, some drinks are my favorite drink to make, but my worst nightmare would be making 20 of them. Uh, the uh, Ramos Gin Fizz would be a great example of uh, would be a great example of that. Uh, to this uh, basic mix of Pims, we've added uh, fresh uh, lemon juice, uh, an ounce of simple syrup. Uh, we're now going to add uh, a little bit of water and some fresh uh, club soda to give it a little bit of sparkle. Uh, this is a drink you can make as sweet or dry as you want uh, by uh, the amount of uh, effervescence that you put in it. Uh, some people use ginger ale, uh, some people use champagne, uh, some people use 7-Up. Uh, I personally like the use of uh, fresh lemon juice. Uh, I just think it adds a sparkle and a uh, bite that just not replicated anywhere. The traditional uh, garnish to Pim's is a leafy vegetable called barrage, which is not easily available here in the United States, and so we have a very similar uh, flavor by adding a nice piece of cucumber peel, and then we're going to top it off with a uh, beautiful fresh mint garnish that's fragrant, beautiful, delicious, and refreshing. Pimps, number one, a uh, classic Gloria's drink. Uh, cheers to you.